Okay, uh, we're at the point now that we're ready to put the uh, windows tray, um, or the manual sometimes calls it the oil deflector uh, tray, but regardless, uh, it's labeled front and rear, so this is the back. Of course, it curves following the uh, the crankshaft, so uh, you got your nuts. Hopefully, you uh, have already cleaned those off, so they're in good shape. I'm going to leave this one off while I put these on. Uh, this is going to be the one that holds the... Uh, pickup tube in place so I'll get the other started and then we'll work on the, the pickup tube all right and then of course these get torqued at 18 foot-pounds Okay, uh, now let's talk about the oil pickup tube. So I got a new one of these. Uh, of course, I mentioned before I'm running the Melling 10 296, uh, 295 oil pump. Melling includes two different uh, O-rings. So you don't use the O-ring that comes on this. This is a GM uh, replacement uh, pickup tube. Uh, you swap it out. There's a green one and a black one. Uh, they have a little diagram that shows you, depending on the uh, the shape of the end of the pickup tube, you either use the green or the black one. Uh, so for my application, uh, since I have a tapered end here, I use the green one. Uh, so put a little bit of oil around the uh, O-ring, and then there we go. Uh, so one thing I'll point out. So from the factory, <clears throat> the oil pickup tube only had one bolt that held this down. And there's an opportunity here that if this isn't seated in there just right, um, oil can leak around the pickup tube uh, O-ring. And if you do that, then you can end up with um, air in the system and a loss of oil pressure. So to help remedy that and just make sure that never happens, improved racing makes a little bracket that fits here and then an extra bolt on this side so that you can bolt down both sides and it helps distribute the clamping load uh, all the way around that o-ring on the inside uh, just a little bit less opportunity uh, to suck air into the system um, and so for a few bucks i think that's a worthwhile upgrade uh, so these two bolts get installed at 106 inch pounds, uh, which is essentially nine foot pounds. And then the other, the support leg here um, for the other end of the pickup tube, uh, of course this nut is at 18 foot pounds. So uh, we'll get these installed. And the nice thing about the improved racing piece is they include uh, two uh, new uh, bolts. One for this and then one to replace the, uh, the original one. Okay, so here it is. Uh, this took a little finagling to get this in there. Um, there's not enough, once this, the uh, pickup tube is fully seated in there, there's not enough vertical clearance uh, to get the bracket and the bolt uh, installed. Uh, so what I had to do, I banked this bolt out until it was just on, barely on a thread just to keep things centered. Um, and then I pulled up on the pickup tube and you just have to work the nut, uh, the uh, the bolt, and the little bracket together in there, and then with your fingers get it started and work it down. And as you work it down, you can slowly uh, seat the pickup tube, and then you can tighten this one a little bit, and then you'll just work them both down in there. Um, there's no way to get a torque wrench on this one, so you just have to get it snug. Uh, this one, like I said, is right at uh, nine foot pounds, which is not much. go and this one yeah just make sure that's snug it's not going anywhere 
and then of course the uh, the pickup tube uh, support leg here that one gets torqued to 18 foot pounds There we go. So that's how you install the uh, oil pickup tube and the uh, improved racing oil pickup tube uh, bracket to help uh, spread the load across that uh, O-ring in there. So I hope that helps.